My hooks rusting out after I sharpened them was getting old, so what I did was started doing research online to find little hacks or tricks that I could do to keep these hooks from rusting after I take the corrosion resistant coating off. And I found one that comes up a lot, and that is using a Sharpie after you sharpen your hooks. You actually paint it with a Sharpie, and that's supposed to work pretty good. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm actually gonna test that out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three brand new hooks that's never been used. One's gonna be a control, just one out of the box. I'm gonna put it in the salt water and then we're gonna you know, put it to the side. One, I'm gonna sharpen it and I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm just gonna remove that coating, sharpen it like I normally used to do. And on that last one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sharpen it, make sure that coating is removed, and then I'm gonna color it with a Sharpie, make sure they're all good and wet, and then I'm gonna put them in a bag and let them sit for a week. Not gonna rinse them off. And we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if this little Sharpie trick actually works. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the part where I'm sharpening the hooks. I just wanted to show you that they were actually sharpened while I was on the water. Okay, so I got all my hooks done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the lead weight on each one so I know which is which. So I'm gonna put one dot on the one that's the control, the one that hasn't had anything done. Two dots on the one that has been sharpened but hasn't been coated. And then on the last one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put three dots on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get them wet. I'm gonna put them in a little Ziploc bag, still wet, and that way I can make sure they're not gonna dry out so they have the most time in that salt water. And we're gonna see the results in a week. Okay, so it's been more than a weekend. Uh, we wanna check out the results. So I wanna show you the setup. All I did when I got home was I just took the hooks out of the bag and I set them on the back of my skiff here. And like I said, it's been probably 10 days now. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and take these hooks inside and uh, put them under a camera so we can take a look at them and uh, see if one outperformed the other, see what the results were. Okay, so we're back in the studio here and I wanna go ahead and show you uh, the hooks and what they look like. So again, this is about 10 days that they've been sitting out there without having any freshwater rinse on them. So this is the control. That's that one that's got the one Sharpie dot, if you remember in the beginning of the video. And uh, this one's in good shape. Really, uh, really not much wrong with it. Don't really see anything there. Uh, maybe a tiny little speck of, uh, of rust right there at the bar. But uh, other than that, it's in pretty good shape. I'd probably use this hook again, uh, as long as sh is it sharp enough. Now let's go to the second one. Now this is the one where we sharpened and we didn't do anything to it. This is the one that has uh, the two Sharpie dots right there on the weight. And as you can tell, uh, this one's pretty rusted up. It's in pretty bad shape, and that's to be expected. Now, you know, just to let you know, this black color that you see that's on the hook, that is a corrosion resistance uh, coating that the manufacturer puts on there. And, you know, it, it keeps it from rusting. It helps keep it from rusting. So once you sharpen it, you're actually removing part of that coating, and that's what happens. The salt will actually attach itself to that steel, and the salt attracts moisture, and that moisture is what causes it to rust. And that's why it's important uh, to rinse off your, your gear after you get it back from salt water. Uh, you know, a good freshwater rinse will prevent a lot of this, but that coating does a good job too. But as you can see, once we remove that coating, then we're definitely gonna get some uh, some rust that's gonna kick in there. Uh, and, uh, this one is in pretty bad shape. I would not use this hook again without uh, putting a file on it and sharpening back up. So let's go ahead and go to the test. This is the one that we did the Sharpie on, and if you look at it, it's actually not in bad shape. Now, it's not great. Uh, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, there is some rust on it. It really looks a little bit worse to the naked eye than it does the camera there, uh, but I will say it is in better shape than not having anything at all. So is it a replacement for the corrosion coating, the corrosion resistant coating that comes factory on the hook? Absolutely not. It's not nearly as good. But is it better than not having anything at all? Yeah, I would agree. Let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison here. See if I can get that on the, on the camera. So the one on the top right there is the one that has no coating on it. That's just where we sanded it or we, we sharpened the hook and uh, you know let uh, nature take its course there. And the bottom one is the one that we covered in Sharpie before we put it away uh, for those 10 days. So you can tell it's definitely, it's definitely better, but it's not as good as the regular one. It's not as good as the one that doesn't have anything done to it and the corrosion resistant coating is still in place. So what I wanna do is I wanna run this test again and actually uh, do the same thing, the exact same thing, but I'm gonna rinse them off once I get home to see if there's any difference, if that coating, if that Sharpie actually holds up and keeps the rust off as well as the factory coating does. That'd be interesting to see. If you've got any methods that you use to help keep these sharpened hooks from rusting, I'd love to hear from you. I'm all ears. Go ahead and put those down in the comments below. I'd like to try them out. And if you like videos like this, make sure and check out the different membership levels that we have at saltstrong.com where you can tailor your learning to your needs. As always, I really do appreciate you watching. Have a great one. Bye.